All right, well, my name's Frank Levin. I am 52 years old. I've been in the real estate business since 1998. Uh, I started uh, with a, a local family mom and pop shop here in town who was a busy rental office, and uh, Jeff asked me to come down and work with him back in 2004. So I've been with the Quentin Group since 2004. Cool, and where'd you grow up? I grew up in Summers Point, right across the bridge, and I grew up going to the beach in Ocean City, and had the love of surfing and uh, the lifestyle, and so I grew up in Summers Point and going to the beaches here in Ocean City. Perfect. So you joined the Quincy Group in 2004, and uh, so you've been with us quite a bit of time, right? Oh, it's going on 17 years almost. Yeah, 17 years. Yep, yep. And so if you can, you know, obviously you've you've experienced a long time in real estate so far. Um, tell us what the beginning years were like at the Quincy Group or in your business, and then when, or even when you joined us. So, uh, back, I guess we could call it back in the day, um, in 2004, uh, you know, Jeff and I, we've known each other kind of since high school, same kind of group of friends. Um, you know, I was working at another company, and I was had a little bit of a slow growth in my business going on, and didn't really know what true real estate sales was all about. And um, I really had the itch to find out what that could look like. So I, I took uh, a buyer's agency or a sales agency position with Jeff and pretty much just um, we got in, Jeff got me into coaching through the Mike Ferry organization and through the Mike Ferry organization and working with Jeff who has the structure of, um, you know, that model to build sales and a career in, in real estate. So we pretty much has been following the system uh, since 2004. At the beginning when we started, it was it wasn't overwhelming. I'm uh, caught on in terms of having a little bit of a background and base in the basic real estate industry. You, know, you can do your own contract. You've you know, been out with people and the whole buying and selling different sides of the transaction. And uh, so maybe that gave me a little bit of a head start, but um, you know, uh, uh, Jeff's buyer's agent, he was income producing all day long, listings, et cetera, et cetera. And so I would take all the buyers out, um, you know, Jeff's buyers and, and my buyers at different times and take them through the process. And it was uh, a quick, uh, the market was moving at that point. I, I made more money in less than a year than I've made in two years. Uh, in real estate on my own and, and the next year after that that multiplied and it multiplied again and we were at the top of the market there and Jeff and I rode that market all the way down uh, to you know through the short sales and the bottom turns and the banks and the casinos and the foreclosures and uh, that lasted a long a long time and uh, obviously we've uh, ridden it back up here to where the real estate market is today so just following the systems and, and doing what you're supposed to do every day that's that's in the business plan that's your goals and and uh, time management and so on and so forth so frank so you know what's you know one or two things you would say that why you're so successful i think uh so i think one of the main reasons why i'm so successful is is ultimately believing in our systems and and strategies that Jeff has implemented and that we've implemented. There's a great system in place. The systems in place are duplicatable, uh, obviously repeatable, duplicatable, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What's allowed me to uh, excel in that would be uh, showing up every day. I show up every day, um, follow the schedule, prospect the follow-up, go on appointments. Sure, you have a little bit of uh, uh, time there for lunch and, and admin, but negotiate contracts. And you know, once after that, you go to the closing table. Follow the systems. Have blind faith that if you do what you're supposed to do every day, that good things are going to happen, and they do. It's you know, get in the momentum, and if you keep the foot on the gas pedal, you'll stay in momentum. So, so Frank, I mean, if if someone was to get into real estate today. Um, what are some things you'd recommend? Would you recommend they go on a team, be a solo agent, because you started out as a solo agent, be a rental agent? Just overall, with your knowledge, someone starting today, what would you recommend? So, um, 
you know, looking back to where I, where I came from and where I'm at now and seeing uh, the whole transformation maybe of the business from single agent to, to team to groups to mega agents and all that fun stuff, I would suggest, if you have absolutely no experience at all, would be to get involved with a, a group or a team that has the systems in place. KW is obviously a great place for that, otherwise we would not be here right now. Um, without a doubt we wouldn't be here if KW didn't have a great you know, business and whatnot. So I would recommend if you're a new agent to, to get involved with a team or a group that has a place for you like an, uh, an inside sales associate. Um, you know, obviously we have a learning zen, a learning manual that will take you from zero to, you know, to say from between zero and a hundred. It, it will, you know, start you here and it'll start building up your, your base and give you a background so you, you'll be a successful, you know. That's great. Agent. Great advice. So Frank, looking out now, three, five years, you know, uh, 10 years, whatever it may be for you, what are some of the things that you want to accomplish whether it's in real estate or even personal, what are some things that you're focused on right now? Well, for me, for myself, other than I, the, the kid going into college and I have a son that's you know in co high school now, um, I think for me to get more involved in real estate investments, I, mean, I started out investing into real estate when I got involved with the Quinton Group. Um, it was probably at the top of the market, so uh, you know we took our lumps and. You know, that kind of set me back a bit in my whole mindset of in taking the risk to invest. But for me, it's um, more real estate investment, more passive income opportunities and where I can, you know, obviously manage that, um, but not be in the grind every day so much. Do, doing the things that we do, but not just relying on that, having other sources of income. Yeah. So be able to, to earn uh, the, the money and the income from real estate sales to allow you to be able to go invest that receive passive income to offset. Right, invest, invest in really what you know that you're good at. Yeah. Good advice. And so in closing, um, you know, what are just three things that make you successful? What do you think the top three things are that you could, that when someone says to you, Frank, give me three things. You've been doing this a long time. You've been at the Quinton Group a long time. You've sold, how many homes do you think you've sold since you started in this career? Total. So 17 years, let's just say 50 homes a year what's that work out to that's a lot a couple hundred homes yeah seven eight hundred homes yeah probably i mean i know that since we've been together i mean you had at one point you had sold over four thousand homes so when since we've been together we've sold a few thousand homes together yeah a lot yeah. a lot of so you know looking at that with your experience your own personal sales the team sales what makes you know what are three things you think that are are makes an agent successful Three things that make an agent successful. Number one is a, a commitment. Commitment to knowing that this is what you're doing and what you want to do for your, for whether you're you know, self-employed, whether you're, you know, obviously it's in business for yourself. Um, but commit, number one. And number two is show up. And number three is follow through. Commit, show up, and follow through and just do it.